Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about transforming your RV, and I'm gonna give you my top five must-knows about RV decor. I wanted to put together a list of my top five if I had to tell you things about RV decor that I would give you as a tips, tricks. And my first thing up is command strips to hang your pictures. And when I say hang your pictures with command strips, don't buy no two or three pound command strips, even if the item that you're wanting to put up is only like five ounces. I'm telling you, from experience, when we first got our RV, I bought the lighter weight command strips. We would go somewhere and when we got there, the picture had fallen off the wall. I started using the 16 pound or the 20 pound. I use either one, it just depends on what the picture is. But I always use either the 16 or the 20 pound and I don't have them fall off. Now, I do have to say when it comes to command strips, I think that they eventually like de compose maybe because of the heat and cold in a camper. I usually have to replace my command strips on my pictures every few years. It's just like they've been up there for two years and then they just all of a sudden start to turn loose. I'm not sure exactly why, but I do want to let you know that on command strips, that is going to be the best thing to hang up your pictures. Also, remember, if they start wanting to kind of come down a little bit, you may have to replace it. Now, a few other tips about hanging pictures with command strips. Don't just use one. Always at least use two command strips so that if for some reason one starts to turn loose in a few years, you'll at least still have one that will hold it up because you'll start seeing the picture like coming off a little bit and it will keep it from falling down. And number two, what I've learned is on the back of the picture frames, the command strips don't want to stick real good to like wood items. So what I do is on the back of the picture, I take a stapler. I've got an electric stapler that I had gotten really cheap. I use that to attach it to the wood. That keeps it from coming off because command strips, some wood, I guess because it maybe has a sealer or something on it, it just doesn't stick to it as good. Next thing when it comes to RV decor, you don't want to have to move things around on travel days. The less that you have to move, the quicker and easier it is on yourself. So like on my lamps, they're all stuck down with museum putty. So I would always suggest that if you have something that you want stuck down, use museum putty. The museum putty I really like. I have used nano tape a little bit. And I know when I talked about the command strip, some people were probably going, what about the nano tape? My experience with the nano tape, it does stick very well. I have a hole in my wallpaper from where I put, I guess, too big of a piece. And when I went to take a picture down, it ripped it off. It's not, they don't, it doesn't come off as easy. And then also just recently I pulled up, I pulled up something cause I'm going to do a video about organization in the bathroom and getting more counter space coming up. So if that's something that you would like to see, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so it'll let you know when I upload those videos. But I had a thing that I stuck down with some nano tape on the countertop. And when I pulled it up, it pulled up part of the countertop. So now I've got to fix our countertop. So I love nano tape and I've talked about nano tape, but it can be a little aggressive. And it works very well if it's something that you never want to move. I prefer the museum putty and I like the white museum putty. And I've done a video if you want to watch it talking about the different types of museum putty and which one I like. I will put that video up here. I have lamps that have been down since 2017 when we got our camper and even on the shelves up above the bed, all my little things on those shelves are all stuck down with museum putty so I don't have to move them on travel days. So another tip that I would give you about your RV decor is when you buy some items, maybe look for some things that are actually decorative but have a purpose. I have these that I had gotten. I got these at Ikea. I did a video where I bought, I found some at the Dollar Tree and I remade them because they were pink 
and they didn't go with my decor and then when I went to Ikea I saw these and these were the exact color that I wanted so I got them but what's great is these can hold things in them get stuff up off the counter you can put your fruit in here you can put different things in here at the same time they're pretty because they add color I have an ottoman that I made that is I think it's very pretty it looks good but then it also doubles as storage so anytime that you can get something that's pretty and functional and has a purpose that is a win for your decor another thing for when it comes to RV decor if you can get things that are removable that you can change the look of something so that it's not permanent is a great idea to do for your camper because I have this this is peel and stick tile that I put up and I have a video on how I did this this really lightened up the space here but if I ever wanted to take it off I could now it is on wood and it would probably peel off the finish <laughs> it is possible to take this down. Peel and stick wallpaper is a great way to add decor, but yet it's removable so that if you change your mind, you can do that. I even have peel and stick wallpaper on all my glass that I have in the camper. That way you're not looking into the cabinets you can't see in the cabinets. That way it adds color to your camper without it being permanent. And I did a whole video about decorating your camper without using permanent stuff, and I will link that video. Now my last tip about RV decor is you do want something that's durable. And when I say durable, you typically don't want pictures with glass in them because if something happens and they do fall off the walls, they will break. You don't want any decor in your camper that's very delicate or easily broken. When you're driving down the road and it is so rough, it could get broken. So I would make sure that I use durable items for your camper. I hope this video gave you some tips and tricks about RV decor that maybe you didn't know. Till next time, like and subscribe.